Here is how I made this animation loop last minute for a Halloween party. My friend had her living room decorated with lots of spooky eyes. When we looked for something to display on the TV screens, we found this eye animation on YouTube. As an animator, I didn't like this because the eye doesn't actually appear like it's looking at anything. It's just wobbling around aimlessly. Realistic eye motions need two things. One, they quickly jump to the next position. Two, when they are focusing on something, the eyes do these little eye dart scanning motions. I downloaded this textured model from TurboSquid, put the cursor to the center of the eyeball, created a null object, and parented both parts of the model to the null object. Now I animated the rotation. Let's do one big jump whenever the eye looks at something new and then little eye darts so it appears to focus on what it's seeing. These motions are very fast. Sometimes it's just one frame to the next. Sometimes it's up to six frames, but eye motions are very rarely slow unless they're following something. The first frame is supposed to look exactly like the last one, so we get a perfect loop. But because I decided to do this little spooky eyeball spin here, the rotation values are not the same. At the last keyframe, this axis has plus 360 degrees, so one full rotation, compared to the starting value. This eye animation alone looked a bit boring. As eyes are usually surrounded by bodies doing smoother organic motions, I added another null object, parented the first one to it, and animated a float up and down. This way, I get something more gentle to contrast the rapidly jumping eye. To loop this hover motion, we can use a curve modifier. Just make sure that you place the keyframes in a way that the starting position matches the end position, so we preserve our loop. Sadly, I didn't have time to figure out how to animate the iris. That would have been nice if there was like an eye jump and then the iris would like do some readjusting to the light situation there. But sometimes you have to stop at good enough. And that's it for one of the strangest last minute party preparations that I've ever done. Happy Halloween and keep on animating!